When playing hand drums, one of the first things we want to make sure we take care of is that we're not wearing any jewelry, rings, watches, those kinds of things, because we want to make sure that we take care of the drums, take care of our hands, and take care of our jewelry. So if we're wearing anything like that, we want to take that off. The second thing we want to pay attention to is our posture. Hand drum play should be relaxed, and that begins with an upright seated position and relaxed shoulders. As you practice and play, be mindful of your posture. Hand drum play should be relaxed and flowing. Hand drums sound best when air travels through them. Some hand drums, such as djembe's and congas, can require tilting for the most resonant sound. Some other drums may have built-in sound holes. All right, just a few thoughts about basic technique on the djembe. When you're playing your bass tone, remember, as with all strokes, that you're using the weight, not the force, as you come into the instrument. So you want to imagine as if you picked up your arm and let it fall onto the surface of the drum. The difference is in pushing into the sound. And you see there's a lot more tension in the arm and the sound itself, again, becomes a very constricted sound instead of the nice round, rich tone that we're looking for. So you can practice this with a friend or just practice it by yourself where you imagine literally just letting your hand fall and engaging the weight into the tone. You should also allow your hand to bounce off of the drum. The use of gravity and rebound will help your sound and endurance. Handing is a term used to describe how we create sounds on the drum with each hand. Generally speaking, we use our lead hand, probably our writing hand, to create downbeat sounds. And we use our other hand to create upbeat sounds. Now there are exceptions to the rule, but generally speaking this is a good beginning rule of thumb. Also, keep in mind that I'm left-handed, so if you're right-handed and you're watching me play, think of me as a mirror. So when we talk about sticking patterns or handing, whether to alternate or whether to use a double, it's usually dictated by the breakdown inside a set of sixteenth notes. And you really find that useful when you play a syncopated rhythm like one E A. Uh. This is another spot where you can use the idea of ghost strokes to help you really solidify the groove of that rhythm pattern.